No, as anything, know your specs of which height and number of blooms and finish width that you're trying to achieve before you go in to uh, your poinsettia crop. Um, you're going to have different customers with different specs. Um, we know that there's a customer out there that is notorious for having a ruler uh, anytime they receive a poinsettia cart shipment. And it doesn't matter how nice the poinsettias are or how full they are or how full in color they are, if they don't hit that height spec, they're going to reject it. So know what your customer, what their specs are and work towards that goal. And, and it's, it's so important because it, I've been growing a lot of points as in my career and I've dealt with both the guys that will measure your plant height and, and, and kick you for that. And the other one is rack count. So you know that if, if you're growing a floral spec and you're gonna get good money for that, they would expect on the six and six bracts on top, not six bracts on the plant, six bracts on top. So it's important to understand what your targets are and that spec, what size pot, how many stems in the pot, what you're doing, that influences your scheduling. And again, we could go for, for, for an hour on scheduling alone, but I think the point of this is just to make sure you know what it is you're trying to achieve. And it's amazing how often people don't really know that. How do you make your specs? All right. <laughs> Have a conversation with your customer, you know, and it, it's not, Hey, you know, I, I want big and nice. That's, that's not what we're talking about. We, we work in uh, uh, a little bit more of the world of reality uh, and define specs. All right. So uh, how to get the number of blooms. And that goes back to the pinch, which we talked about earlier and know your varieties. There are uh, physical limitations to certain varieties on what height spec they're able to achieve. And yeah. generally speaking, Gary can talk about another, I don't know, 10 minutes about this, but at a certain point, different varieties essentially will split when they hit a height, certain height spec. And those varieties were what we would avoid for say a larger 10 inch or 12 inch pot. Not every, not every variety, even though it's a slower grower and a faster finisher to color is acceptable for those larger pot sizes. Absolutely. And conversely, um, you want, if you're growing small pots, you want to grow genetics that are conducive to that. And then there's the other factor is seasonality. What is the week you want to sell? Are you selling yeah. in week 46? Are you selling in week 51? And that's where this situation is. This is in, in this whole series. This is where genetics really, really come into play finding the right variety that fits the niche that you're trying to grow to, that's going to give you the spec and, and height and timing that you want to go to. And again, there are, uh, uh, there is a phenomenon when the poinsettia unfolds so many leaves, the, 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 the tip will split. So there are certain varieties that just aren't conducive to a long stem, big pot application. But again, and in, that, that's, in that situation as well, they, they're not conducive to a single stem. Yes, uh, application as well. Yeah. That's a uh -huh. whole other enchilada. Straight yeah, there, there's many different specs out there. Know whether you're supposed to be pinching these or you want the, your customer accepts unpinched or you'll be making these single stems. Um, you know, this is the type, this is the type of conversation that you need to have with your customer that will be purchasing these. Um, generally speaking, there's not a lot of poinsettia production on random spec at the moment. No, uh, absolutely in, not. And and one of, the new, one of the new things that's coming out there right now, and we've seen this thing explode in the last couple of years, is mini poinsettias. And it's a unpinched mini poinsettia. So if you, any of you guys are interested or dabbling or want to work with un, uh, minis, please reach out to us. I have some documents to support that, and I'm glad to discuss uh, the, 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 the do's and don'ts. It's straightforward, but because every leaf that you have when you stick that cutting is going to be visible at the end, you have to be hyper careful about um, um, damaging the foliage.